Hello everybody. My name is Slavica Jockovic and I will be your English teacher today. Today we are going to talk about giving instructions, about asking for instructions when we are in a new town or in a city. We will repeat prepositions of place. Danas ćemo govoriti o iskazivanju prostornih odnosa, o davanju instrukcija u novom gradu i o traženju instrukcija kada se nađemo u novom mestu. Pa da počnemo. What places are there in a town or in a city? Town hall, cinema, theater, school, police station, bus or train station, airport, hospital, bank, museum, art gallery, supermarket, restaurant, cafe, market, church, square, fountain, park, shopping mall, sports center, library, cathedral, city center. Is there a sports center in your town? How many parks are there in your birthplace? What is your favorite place where you live? Let's do an exercise. Can you guess the place? Evo jednog malog vežbanja. Možete li na osnovu opisa da pogodite u kom mestu je reč? Let's start. You go there to have lunch or coffee. Waiters and waitresses work there. It's the restaurant. You go there for a walk. Children can play there. There are swings and slides there. It's the park. You go there to watch a play or a rehearsal. Actors and actresses are there live on the stage. It's the theater. Excellent. You go there to take books, but you can also read books and magazines there. It's a library. Let's play another game. Find the odd one out. Pronaji uljeza. Number one. Shopping mall. Theater, sports center, town hall, cinema. What is the odd one out? Are you thinking of the town hall? Yes. Shopping mall, theater, sports center, and cinema are places for entertainment. Town hall is the place where town officials work, where people go to work. Number two, supermarket, art gallery, cafe, restaurant, hotel. The odd one out is Art gallery, supermarket, cafe, restaurant and hotel are places where you can get food. Art gallery is the place where you go to see an exhibition, to see the paintings. Number three, school, library, art gallery, museum, hospital. The odd word out is the hospital, yes. School, library, art gallery and museum are all places where you educate yourself. 
while hospital is a place where you go when you're not feeling well, when you have some health problem or issue. A lighthouse is a symbol of finding your way. Svetionik kao symbol putokaze. Let's go on. A place to remember. Is there a place that you like to remember? What is the most beautiful or the most memorable place you have visited? Why is it the place you especially like? What makes it memorable? How did you travel? Who did you go with? Where did you stay? Predpostavljam da svi imate neki grad u kome ste se lepo proveli, koji volite da posetite, u kome imate lepe uspomene. Evo ja ću podeliti sa vama jednu svoju uspomenu ili iskustvo. My visit to Slovenia, Škofija Loka. Last year I went to Škofija Loka, a small town in Slovenia, with my school. We visited another school there. We stayed there for three days. We traveled by bus and we walked through Škofija Loka one afternoon. It is really a beautiful town. Here you can see a photo from of a bridge, a view from the bridge. The river Selšica runs through the town. Škofija Loka is situated in a valley. It is surrounded by hills and mountains. There are a few bridges over the river. The streets are narrow. Here you can see the town center or downtown. And here is the pedestrian zone. In this picture you can see town hall, the entrance to the town hall which is upstairs and the town officials work there. Dakle, Skupština, town hall. And here you can see the ski center Planica which is 60 kilometers away from Škofija Loka. We traveled there by bus. Posjetili smo Skijaški centar, išli smo autobusom tam. Here are some more photos of Škofija Loka. In the left corner you can see the bridge on the river Selšica, which runs through the town. In the middle picture you can see town church. The town church is situated in the city center on the main square. And in the right corner you can see the art house. It is an art gallery which is dedicated to Ivan Grohar, a famous painter from Škofija Loka. The school we visited is named after Ivan Grohar. Here is a map of my town. I live in a small town. There are a few primary schools, three secondary schools, there is a hospital, a police station, there is a library, there is a museum in my town, there is a theater also, there are a few cafes and there are two big parks. I love my town. Here are a few examples. The school is next to the police station. Can you see the school? This red building, it's next to the police station. The post office is between the hospital and the museum. The theater is next to the cafe opposite the library. 
There is a hospital in my town, not far from the police station. There are a few parks in my town. Let's have a look at a map of a town. Ovdje vidimo jednu mapu grada. Zamislit ćemo da se nalazimo ovdje gdje je crvena tačkica. Dve osobe vode dijalog. Da pročitamo njihovu konverzaciju. Excuse me, where is the museum? Walk along this street. At the traffic lights. Turn right. Go past the church. It's on the corner opposite the theater. Opposite the theater? Thank you. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to school, please? Walk along this street. Take the second turning on the right. Go past the supermarket. The school is on your left. It's on the corner near the park. Thank you. Sada ćemo da uradimo jedno vežbanje. Slušat ćete me pažljivo i reći koje mesto na mapi traži. What am I looking for? Nalazimo se ovdje. Excuse me. How do I get to the... Please, walk along here. At the traffic lights, turn right. Go past the church. It's on your right, opposite the museum. Thank you. So what am I looking for? The theater. Very well, good. Number two. Could you tell me the way to the, please? Walk along this street. At the traffic lights, turn right. Go past the church. At the corner, turn left. It's on your right, between the library and the post office. Thank you. So if you followed my instructions, you could say that I'm looking for the cafe. Evo još par izraza. The cafe is between the library and the post office. The museum is opposite the cafe. The supermarket is between opposite the church. There is a fountain in the park. The library is in Oxford Street, next to the cafe. The post office is between the cafe and the theater. Let's move on. Let's repeat prepositions of place. Evo pomoću ovih ilustracija da se podsjetimo predloga za mesto. In front of, behind, next to, between, up, down, into, out of, from, to. Opposite. Along. Evo još par primjera nekih. Poslušajte ih. She was standing in front of the bank. The news agent is behind the corner. The cafe is next to the restaurant. The library is between the theater and the cinema. They were walking up the hill. They were driving down the hill. 
she ran into the building. Walk out of the building. Run from the town. Go to the bus station. The church is opposite the police station. Walk along the main road. Let's move on. Asking for instructions. Evo par korisnih izraza koje koristimo kada tražimo uputstva kako da dođemo do nekog mesta. Možete ih prepisati u sveske za školski rad ukoliko ih smatrate korisnim. When we are in a new town or a city, we need to know some useful expressions to ask our way. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bank, please? Could you please tell me how to get to the nearest bus station? Excuse me, is there a supermarket near here? When asking for directions, don't forget to use words excuse me and please. Let's move on. Giving directions. When we give directions to people, we use these expressions. Walk along here. Go along this street. Idite ovom ulicu. At the corner, turn right or left. Na ulu skrenite desno ili levo. At the traffic lights, turn left or right. Na semaforu skrenite levo, odnosno desno. Go to the roundabout, then take the first turning on the right. Idite do kružnog toka, a zatim skrenite desno. It's opposite the, next to the, between. D. Preko puta, pored, između. Go past the. Prođite pored. Go over the bridge. Idite preko mosta. You can copy these instructions. Let's move on. Here is an exercise. Evo jedne vežbice. Match the directions to the pictures. Povežite izraze sa leve strane sa slikama sa desne strane. Let's do it together. Da uradimo zajedno. Here are the answers. Here is the key. Turn right. Picture A. Turn left. B. It's on the left. D. It's on the right. E. It's opposite. G. It's next to F. It's between C. Go past the H. Let's move on. Traffic signs. Malo ćemo govoriti o saobraćenim znacima. Ja pretpostavljam da ste to radili iz predmeta tehnika i tehnologija, možda pa u prethodnom razredu, ali evo da povežemo malo sadržaje iz 
saobraćaja, poznavanja pravila saobraćaja i engleskog jezika. Traffic lights You can cross the street when the light is green. Roundabout Slavia is a famous roundabout in Belgrade. Zebra crossing or pedestrian crossing. You cross the street on the zebra crossing. Bicycle check. There are bicycle checks in my town. Pavement or sidewalk in American English. Trotoar. People use pavements for walking. Britanska reč je pavement. U američkom engleskom se kaže sidewalk za trotoar. Bus station. Train station. Underground or tube. Podzemna železnica. Or underground railway system. Here is the picture of the underground railway system. Motorway or highway, autoput. The speed limit on the motorway is 130 km per hour. Junction, ukrštanje puteva. The most complicated junction is in Birmingham. It is called Spaghetti Junction. The means of transport around the world. Kada govorimo o prevoznim sredstvima, postoje države koje imaju svoje specifične prevozne sredstva, pa nije loše da znamo neke činjenice iz kulture, a vezano za države čiji jezik učimo. Rickshaw is used in India. It is a two-wheeled vehicle drawn by one or more people. Dakle, rickshaw je specifična za Indiju. Cable cars are used in San Francisco. The streets are steep and the trams run on cables. U San Francisco Imamo ovo prevozno sredstvo, to je tramvaj koji se pokreće pomoću specifičnih kablova jer su ulice jako strme. Ferry boat is used to transport people and vehicles across seas. Ferry boat, odnosno trajekt, je prevozno sredstvo koje prevozi ljude, ali takođe i automobile i ostala prevozna sredstva preko većih vodenih površina. Takođe je važno da zapamtimo sledeće izraze. We say by car, by bus, by plane, by train, by boat, by bike, but on foot. Dakle, govorimo by za prevozna sredstva, ali on foot kada idemo pešice. Have you ever traveled by plane? I haven't. I go to work by car. She went there on foot. Homework. Stikli smo do domaćeg zadatka. Evo šta ćete uraditi za domaći zadatak. Choose one of the following topics. Izaberite jedan od ponuđena dva zadatka. Zadatka. Number one. Describe a town or a city you have visited. What are the sites of the place? Write about the places that you have visited. How did you travel? Upisat ćete neki grad koji ste posjetili i koji vam se dopao, koje mesta ste videli, kako ste putovali i šta vam se dopao. Number two. Describe your town. What places? Are there in your town? What is your favorite place? 
Opišite svoj grad. Koja mesta postoje u vašem gradu? Koje je vaše omiljeno mesto? The composition should be up to 150 words long. Sastav bi trebalo da bude dugačak oko 150 reči. I hoped I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope that you've remembered some of the stuff that I was talking about. I wish you to stay safe and healthy and to see you some other time. Goodbye.